two of you here today bless this marriage. Her mother and I. I want you to raise this veil and give her a kiss. I know tradition says he's supposed to do it at the end. No, I'll pull it all the way back. She's too pretty to hide behind that. I have had brides that needed two of them. She's not one of the others. <laughs> you may be seated. Mike and Katie. We're here this morning for the purpose of fulfilling your desire to unite in marriage. Here and now, you will take your marriage vows, exchange wedding rings, and make a total commitment to each other. For marriage is a covenant made in the hearts of two people who deeply feel that their lives are and always will be shared as one. The decision to marry is one of the most important and sacred commitments in life. And today, when you, Mike, and you, Katie, pledge to love and care for each other in marriage, you will create a spiritual bond which will bind you closer than any spoken or written word. By stating your vows, you're effectively pledging to the other your love, friendship, fidelity, and trust, a promise which will take a lifetime to fulfill. For a poet said it this way, when I met you, I had no idea how much my life was about to change. But then how could I have known for a love like ours happens only once in a lifetime and you were a miracle to me, the one who was everything I'd ever dreamed of and the one who I thought existed only in my imagination. And when you came into my life, I realized that what I'd always thought was happiness couldn't compare to the joy loving you has brought to me. For you're a part of everything that I think and do and feel. And with you by my side, I believe anything's possible. Thank you for the miracle of you, for you are and always will be the love of my life. Now, love is an intense and fulfilling emotion. It allows you to share intimacy and experience feelings of tenderness and warmth, to touch and to hold and to be held and touched. Love takes you out of loneliness and lets you share your life with someone with whom you can express your innermost feelings and thoughts. Love brought you together to this moment to unite your destinies. Always remember just how important your love relationship is. Nurture your love. Imagine what you would feel like without it. The friendship that grows within your love is a harmony of understanding and support. You are companion and confidant, consistently there for each other. For friendship and marriage is treating your life partner with respect as an equal. It's realizing that there's no one else you'd rather be with than the one with whom you're married. And knowing that if you should ever have a disagreement or a quarrel, you will always make up for, after all, the others your closest and dearest friend. Fidelity is giving each other the exclusivity of your physical and emotional intimacy. In your faithfulness, you honor your union and demonstrate love and respect for each other, and as such, heighten the level of your mutual esteem. All these ingredients, love, friendship, loyalty, and fidelity, are bound together with trust. <coughs> for trust is one of the most powerful words in the English language, and yet it is one of the most fragile qualities in a relationship. It's a component which will hold you together through the years. It must always be defended, for it can easily shatter if dishonored. Never abuse each other's trust. If you lose it, you may never find it again. Guard it, and your friend and life partner will always be at your side. The vows which you're about to pledge affirm without equivocation your mutual commitment to uphold within your marriage, love, friendship, fidelity, and trust. So it is then, Mike, that you and Katie having come to me signifying your desire to be formally united in marriage, and being assured there are no legal, moral, or religious hindrances that would stop this union, I'm going to ask that you give me your flowers and join hands together, one with the other. Now, Mike, you're going to be talking to her. You repeat after me. Katie, I love you with my entire being. Katie, I love you with my entire being. And want you to be my wife. I want you to be my wife. Today I give myself to you without reservation. Today I give myself to you without reservation. And ask that you share your life with me. For all time and eternity. During health or illness. Good times or bad. And in joy or sorrow. I promise you, Katie, to love you as no other can. I promise you, 
<laughs> be your best friend. To be your best friend. And to give you my complete loyalty, fidelity, and trust. To give you my complete loyalty, fidelity, and trust. Do you accept me as your husband? Do you accept me as your husband? You be talking to him. Mike, I love you with my entire being. Mike, I love you with my entire being. I want you to be my husband. I want you to be my husband. Today I give myself to you without reservation. Today I give myself to you without reservation. And ask that you share your life with me. For all time and eternity. During health or illness. Good times or bad. And in joy or sorrow. I promise you, Mike, to love you as no other can. To be your best friend. And to give you my complete loyalty, fidelity, and trust. Do you accept me as your wife? That was the right answer, Mike. <laughs> and the poet said it this way. All I want is to love you for the rest of my life, to wake up every morning with you by my side, knowing that no matter what happens, I'll be able to come home to your loving arms. All I want is to share everything with you, to talk to you about our ideas, our dreams, the little everyday things that make us laugh, <coughs> and the not-so-little things that we can't help but worry about. All I want is to give you my love as a place you can always come to for acceptance, for the simple comfort that silence brings when things left unspoken can still be understood. All I want is to grow old with you, to watch our life unfold, our dreams one by one come true. All I want is to love you forever. And from the beginning of time, the ring has had special significance in history. Kings would place their signet upon the ring that all that saw it would know it was of the king. Today, high schools, colleges, lodges, universities, even Disney has a ring. But in the marriage ceremony, we use it to show to the entire world that you two have chosen each other, and that all that see these rings would recognize and honor that choice. So, Mike, I ask that you take the ring, place it upon her finger, and hold it there. Mike, do you give this ring to Katie as a token of your love for her? And Katie, will you wear this ring as a token of your love for him? You'll take this ring, place it upon his finger, and hold it there. Katie, do you give this ring to Mike as a token of your love for him? Okay. And Mike, will you wear this ring as a token of your love for her? Yes. There's an old American Indian blessing that says, For now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be sheltered to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warm to the other. Now there's no more loneliness for you, for each of you are companion to the other. You are but two bodies, but there's only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness. And may your days be good and long upon the earth. And so it is then, Mike and Katie, having pledged your faith in and your love one to the other, and having sealed your solemn marital vows by the giving and receiving of the rings, acting in the authority vested in me by the laws of the state of Florida and looking to heaven for divine sanction, I pronounce you husband and wife. Therefore, whatsoever has been joined together, let no man put asunder. Mike, you may kiss your wife. <laughs> Aww. These flowers don't match my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and I give you Mike and Katie, husband and wife. Woo!